Hello and welcome to Peer Scholar. Uh, I'm Steve Jordan, so I have the uh, privilege of walking you through a little bit of version three, our new version of Peer Scholar, and and one we're really really excited about. Um, so why don't why don't we just get right to it? What I'm showing you here would be what we call the course dash. That if a student logged in, uh, this is where they would see any activities that are ongoing uh, for a given course. And all I've done here is is with a little bit of sleight of hand, I've created three activities that will allow me to just display to you in, in a clear, efficient way what happens in each phase. So three phases in a typical activity. Students first create something, then they assess the work of their peers, so they get practice giving feedback to others, and then finally they receive a bunch of feedback from their peers and they have to reflect on that feedback, analyze it, and complete a revision. Uh, so I'm going to walk you through these three phases and let's jump into the create phase first. Uh, because I've been here before, the instructions are minimized, but normally for the first time a student enters, the first thing they would see are these instructions that the um, teacher for the course provided. Uh, in this case, they are instructions that push them to think critically and creatively. Specifically, they are asked to think about their educational experience and to identify something that's suboptimal, something that, that maybe could be done better, um, and that's a lot of critical thinking, and then they're asked to come up with a potential solution, especially a technological solution. Is there any way you could imagine technology um, filling this gap and actually enhancing your educational experience? So this kind of uh, activity pushes them to think critically and creatively, but of course that's completely up to the instructor they can ask students to do anything they want uh, in this phase. They can also provide any supports they want to provide. In this case, I'm showing a rubric. Um, and so students can open that rubric and have that available. Very good thing to have for peer assessment because this is the rubric they will use to assess one another and also the rubric that the teacher would use to assess them. So they can open that up and have it there and, and it's constantly available anytime they want to consult with it. So once students know the instructions um, and have any supports open, then they just create. Uh, in this case, what I'm showing you is something that was a, a written assignment. And so I've actually written the assignment here, um, but students would just go ahead and write whatever they want to write uh, in the editor provided and then save their work uh, when they're done. Now, as you see on the right, you need not be restricted to written work. Uh, in fact, students can be asked to compose any kind of digital composition uh, and then they could just attach the file. So you could ask them to create songs, videos, etc. And they can engage in this peer assessment with really any digital product. Okay, But that's essentially what the create phase is. Not all that different from other things they might experience in their, in their educational world, uh, but it gets interesting in the next step. Let's go there.